I'm going to make a statement here. I want you to challenge it. Um, DeMontis Sabonis is the greatest Sacramento King of all time. Not true. Okay. I'll make. Is I'll, that enough of a challenge? No, no, no. Um, no. He's just not there yet. I, again, I think these things are prisoner of the moment, and it's not to say that he's not a candidate sure. because that's that's a disservice to him. Um, but no, he just needs to do it for longer. But so, he can be. So if he same production that he's had last year and this year, let's say, how many more years would you say? Or, or or could he stay at this level of production and do it just are you just saying he needs more longevity? Correct. Because I mean you start to look at I mean to me the 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 greatest Sacramento Kings it, it's Weber, right? I well or, or Richmond. Or, or Richmond? Yeah, I mean Richmond's a Hall of Famer, Chris Weber's now a Hall of Famer, but bulk of their careers were here, bulk yes. of it I would say, bulk. and most of their success um, Chris was on a better team, better winning team. Mitch was a terrific player. Um, I think your candidates right now, Dave, would probably be Weber, Richmond, DeMarcus, DeMarcus, Fox, and Cousins. And so, I agree with you. By the way, I think that's the five. That's you know, big you five. Could, you know, you're looking. Pay, there's others. Page yeah, that are good, yeah, but I think yeah. you're you're stretching the argument a little bit. So right now, um, I don't know trade deadline comes and for some reason they trade DeMontis Sabonis. I, I don't think it's happening, but you're going to think that, like he was a great king, but I would not say he's all time greatest king right now. If he plays like this, makes more all-star teams and is doing this for four or five more years, then by the end, you're going to go, he's got every rebounding record. He's got every triple double record, every double double record. He's up there in points in assists. Like then it's hard to argue against, but also where does Fox end up in that? You know, the thing with 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 Sabonis is, you know, like I'm looking at, at Chris Weber, and the only thing Chris had him on, the only thing Chris had him on, was points per game. You know, Demontis is averaging 20 points per game this year. Chris averaged 20, 27, 24, 23, and 18. But the other thing too there is Sabonis is doing it this year at 62% from the field. He was at 61 and a half last year. Weber mm. never cracked 50. Mm. It's that efficiency that he's able to score, number one. Number two, I think they actually run the offense through him more than they ran it through Weber I agree by with that. far. Yeah. By far. The other part, too, is the Kings in the, you know, Weber's heyday were becoming one of the higher scoring teams. Mm -hmm. But now, it, it like, the league is just different. It's and and different. it's not to penalize Sabonis, but I think some of the numbers. Yes, are skewed. Uh, I mean, you know, there was a while there where Fox was averaging 30 a game and he was one of like eight players. Like that 30 was a pretty sacred ground. 30, 30 was you're one of the scoring titles. Yeah. They have near winning the scoring. And title. some people were winning the scoring title in the high 20s. Yes. So yes, they were. Um, it's, it's different and it's not to, you know, but you got to adjust to that. And so, but while it being different, Sabona still is leading the league in rebounding and he had the highest rebounding game of anybody in the NBA this year. Yes. Um, it's the highest game in the 39 years of Sacramento Kings basketball. Well, he tied Chris Weber who did it in an overtime game. So he's starting to do things that you put a historical context on and that it frames his argument. 12.3 rebounds his half year here after the deadline, 12.3 last year, exactly the same, which won him the, the, the rebounding title. He, he's leading again in rebounds, and he's at 13. He's actually, when you look, he's actually having, if the season ended right now, he would have a career high in rebounds this year. He'd have a career high in assists this year. He'd have a career high in field goal percentage this year. He'd have a career high, well, number two in three-point percentage, but he's actually shooting them now. And he would be three-tenths of a point off his career high in scoring. Yeah, I... I to your point, you said it earlier. I I did hear and see the same thing you did, where some say it's empty calories. I saw I've seen a couple people put the All Star reserves are named Thursday, yeah, and put their list out, and I've seen two not have him on it. And okay, like that's fine, but the my always is who's in place of him, right? And I've seen Anthony Davis, I've seen Alperin Shangoon, and I throw up. I'm like, that's no, no. Should not be the case. It really is ridiculous. Yeah. And you know what? Look, I'm not, I can certainly, I agree with you. I don't, I, I think he needs some more longevity. 
I think he is actually, I think if, if you want to say anything, he, he might be in the conversation for having the best season of any mm-hmm. set all, all around. By the way, he's also being tasked with being your defensive anchor down low. Yeah. And I, and he ain't a, he, that, that's not his strong suit, right. but he, he is working <clears throat> his tail off on all sides. And I just, we get games like last night, you know, middle of the year, uh, you know, 20, 26, you know, blah, 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 seven assists, whatever it is. Yeah. He's amazingly consistent. He is. And I just, I don't want to take it for granted. Right. And, and he's in a really good spot right now where lately just the numbers have been staggering, but I think we were kind of having some of this conversation about a month or so ago about Fox who was yes. in just an incredible groove, had won player of the week twice at that time when people were talking about MVP. I remember Sam was even on saying like, Hey, he's, he's probably in the conversation. This was a few weeks back, but he's like, he's not going to win, but De'Aaron Fox. So now you've got two guys that have played at that kind of level that you go, Hey, do you have two of the greatest Sacramento Kings of all time? And they're on the same roster. I think you do. I, I, I think you have two of the top five Sacramento Kings mm-hmm. of all time. Now yeah. at the, at, at the time, um, I don't know. You probably would say, did those early 2000s teams at that time, they probably had at least three of the top five? At that time? At that time. Yeah. And maybe even February. Four? Three or four? I mean. Yeah, I would say you can make an argument that they had four. You know, because I what what I do remember, look, the Kings were now closer to their, you know, 15 to 20 years in existence in Sacramento, but they had the best big man they had had in yeah. Vlade ever yeah. you know, since Brad's been really good. And obviously to Marcus and now Sabonis, um, Bibby was one of the, the best point guards they've ever had. Uh, Weber, the best power forward, you know, it just, and Peja just was the best shooter. Yes. Uh, like they had a lot of really elite things at that time. 